Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Uh, let's start the timer. But ding. TNT, yeah. we spend a lot of time talking about stuff with women and dating. And, you know, I think it was time that we, that we do one for the ladies. <laughs> so what I want to ask you is. <laughs> what is this one going to be? What are some uh-huh. red flags that women should look out for that guys do? So if you meet a dude and he's doing this to you, you should run away. Huh. I, I, to me, wow. Hmm. I would think if he, he uses a lot of profanity. A lot of profanity, huh? Like swearing at them or just profanity in general? I don't know, dude. Like profanity ain't that bad. I, uh, I kind of feel like it kind of it, they mirror on each side. Like if he treats like the wait staff poorly, yeah, that that is a huge yeah, red flag. Yeah, that one's for anybody. You um, know? I like I have a couple that I want. Okay, to you, rattle so. rattle some. So off. I figure you know I don't like to put you on the spot, especially with something like that. So I yeah. have a couple. I've never dated a man, so exactly. it's kind of hard for me. But to... I know. I mean, you know, dudes, and you've talked to friends that are yours that are girls and hear the stuff that their dudes are doing. And like that dude ain't good for you. You know what I mean? Like. So it's other than like pure narcissism and trying to section you off from your family and friends and all that kind of stuff. Like, huh. so it's like huh. when someone uh, cannot discuss sexual health like a grown person. So like they aren't willing to talk about <laughs> like, you know, like if they have had STD test, if they're if they wear <laughs> condoms, uh, what do they do? do? They giggle boundaries like sexual ba- like they're they're like they don't care if you set boundaries with them about like, like they're the- like hey I don't think I'm ready for that yet and they just constantly are trying to get you to bang them like oh yeah okay like, I get that when I they can't that. like set c- accept your boundaries that, I mean I, not even sexually I thought you were implying as like the girl <laughs> goes in and says all right now take it out and he's like what my penis and he starts giggling <laughs> that is a, that's an entirely different red flag I feel like you can't yeah. you can't discuss sex like an adult he's like no it's a penis he said it. <laughs> it's my it's my winky yeah, all right fair enough <laughs> fair enough uh, ignorant arrogance doesn't yeah. seem capable of cha- changing their mind or even hearing out others' opinions. Mm. Like they're so damn set in their ways, mm. they can't even like hear what you're saying. Jonas, yeah. And, and, and yeah, no, yeah, that's a good. What? What's up? Huh? <laughs> no, that's a good point. Yeah, no, I. Uh, so I think that one. That's pretty. That's, valid. Def- that's definitely one. Yeah. yeah, I feel like though, if you run into that with a woman, that's equally as bad. Like a lot of these are just going to be for both cases. Yeah, but I think like. I think some of like I think some of this is, does lend more towards the man side. It does, like but the, that's the, only the women because... red flags and the men red flags. While while similar, do kind of fall one side or the other yeah, a little yeah, more. Yeah. Like they're all bad. Like it's uh, it's uh, what what do you grab? Man, my misogyny, man. I was gonna get red pilled, but where's this one for the ladies? This one is for the ladies. This one's for the ladies. We love you, all right there, right? I think one just as simple as like they don't listen to you. Like, like they don't listen to what you say. Like, you know, if you're constantly having to say, hey, remember when I was talking about X? And they're like, what? But that's they, kind of a red flag. But they don't be talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's true. That's true. You want a good listener and, and, a, and a mate or in a uh, significant Actions other. Actions don't meet words. Yes. Another another one like they'll they'll be like, "Oh, this that the other." And then like you're like, "That does not what you're doing and what you're saying." How do you judge that on like a date though, man? That's not something that you can really see. I this mean, more like, like I guess like once you're trying to once you are dating them, right? Like yeah. it's a it's a pattern of consistency. I guess if like you were texting them beforehand or like you yeah, always open doors for ladies and then like <laughs> you get on the date and they're like Bitch, get up. Yeah. They're like, aren't you going to pull my chair out? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Ain't you got two hands? Wow. That's wow, that's a whole other, that's a whole other <laughs> thing. I have heard. It's one thing that I've heard yeah. from a few different people is that if if you were a guy and you are going to therapy and let them know that, that that's a green flag for women. That women yeah. really enjoy if you're like recognized like, yeah, I have flaws and I'm trying no. to work on my flaws. Like, most guys would think, as far as, like, you know how the world is, that, like, oh, telling a girl that you're in therapy, like, comes across as weak or whatever. But 
I've had numerous women tell me that like when guys tell them that they're in therapy, that's like a giant green flag for them because it shows that they're like working on their stuff. I'm, I'm biting my tongue so hard. What about here. if you met a I'm woman? Biting that was my like, tongue. So why hard. are you? Because it's for the ladies. Because it's like, oh yeah. Or do they just think like, oh, I can change him. He's moldable. He's already proven that he's pliable because he's going to therapy. Do you think about if a woman's in therapy? I'd be would like, you, I'd be like, is this you... chick crazy? <laughs> is that what you? Would I'm think? not dating this crazy chick. <laughs> not everyone who goes to therapy is crazy though. <laughs> Bitch, go handle your demons. <laughs> go handle your demons. No, man, just... come and come and date me. Man, now buy I tried drink. to make it for the ladies. And you were, you're... <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Dynamite loves the ladies. That sounds like it. I love sounds you. Like, sounds like you love them a whole lot. <laughs> All right, what's another one? But being mean to pets. Yeah, hundred percent. I get okay. That one I agree with. That's that's some serial killer oh. shit, right? We can't have that. Have you ever met anyone that did weird things to pets? No. What do you? asking me right now i don't know if you're trying to like no like someone that case? was like i knew a kid who oh, no. somehow told us he got in trouble for like strangling a cat and i was like oh you're something's wrong with you no nah, i uh there was also a very weird situation that happened when i was in track i threw shot put in junior high school never was good enough to go to a meet the only the top three people got to go and i was never them yeah and I don't even want to tell this story. I don't want to hear it. It involved a kid and a dog, and it was, and we were like, what are you doing? And everyone was freaked out. And was it like, like some sexual stuff, dude? He may have been touching the dog. Oh, and, yeah, like, man. yeah. And we were like, what are you doing? He's like, ha, ha, ha. And then we're like. <laughs> so the South Park episode. I didn't know that was a South Park episode. How do you not know that? I haven't South seen, Park. dude. I watched it when it first came out, and I haven't watched it in years. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, that's uh, no. I don't know anybody that does. Like, it would be hard for me to be friends with a person if they told me about something like that. They're like, "Oh yeah, dude, I do these this thing to cats, or I do these things to dogs, or something like whether it be like uh, assault or I mean abusive or what what have you. I'm just not. I'm not cool with that. I'm yeah. Not well, it's that. the same thing as like when I hear someone be like, "Oh yeah, ha ha ha," and then I did this thing to that homeless dude. I'm like. You're a piece of shit. Well, I've never heard anybody tell me that, but I would be more likely to punch a person. Or in the people face. are just like, hey, you want to watch this bum fight video? And I'm like, nah, not really, dude. Nah. I don't want to watch two people that are in a desperate space, like, fight each other. And see, and I was never one of those kids that got heavy into, like, E Bomb's World or Live Leaks or, like, watching those types of video beheadings. And Yeah, like, well, E Bomb's World had a lot of funny stuff on it, too. It wasn't nah, all, uh, it wasn't all weird stuff. Cause that was, like, kind of Reddit before Reddit. E bombs yeah. world in a way, because yeah. that was before Reddit was around. But even even some of the stuff on Newgrounds, I found a little just like not, distasteful. Not yeah, yeah, it wasn't really my thing. So yeah, you ever, you ever heard a guy talk about how alpha they are? Oh my god! So yeah, that's that narcissism again, right there. Yeah, yeah. Or guys like yes. oh, I don't apologize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to be that guy, Jonah. Well, funny enough. Well, okay. Full disclosure, like I still. Don't like to apologize, but if I have done something, <laughs> but, if, but if I have done something wrong, I will take ownership and accountability for it. Yeah. Like you know, but there's always the facet of like people want you to apologize because they feel you need to, yeah. Or if you feel you did something wrong, and like there's a line to walk there, right? Like sometimes it's better just to like eat your crow, say you're sorry, and walk on. Yeah, I've told you before, I don't mind apologizing. I used, to, like I said, I used to be that guy who was like, I don't apologize, but never wrong, blah blah blah, whatever. I used to just be so full of myself. Apologies are free, whatever. Just, Apologies just say are it. free. They are. They are. It costs me nothing, and. You either accept it or you don't, and it either fixes the issue or it doesn't. It and can I find, really bridge a gap sometimes, man. And I find that it's helpful just to be like, yeah, I'm sorry, my fault. I did it. I am sorry. It's easy. Ooh, man. Mm, I am it's, sorry. It's easy to say you're sorry. Hey, Jonas, guess what? What? I'm sorry. For what? Whatever, dude. Anything. <laughs> See, that, that does not come. When, when uh, that's <laughs> the worst thing you can do is if you're, you're arguing with someone, whether you're a man or a woman, and they're like, and they feel like you need an apology, and then you just go, well, I'm sorry. And they're like, for what? And you're like. For whatever I need to apologize <laughs> for. That does not come across very well. Yeah, well, you know, you you, you gotta you gotta make it saucy. You gotta make it palatable for them, but you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to the crazy for Jonas. See you. Oh yeah.